hey, what's good, family? In this video, I'm just going to sit on here and talk. It shouldn't be anything too crazy long, but I wanted to get on here and address something. The other day, someone asked me, how is it I bounce back from my losses? How is it that I am able to keep going whenever I lose my trade? So in this video, I wanted to try to make this to potentially motivate you, or maybe if trading isn't for you, help you come to that conclusion sooner. So first I want to start off answering the question. I want to answer this question of how is it that I am able to bounce back? How is it that I keep going and I'm still here trading? First off, what really gets me going is my why. It is what I want in life. It is what I want to do in life. It's the thought of freedom. It's the skill. It's the ability to make money from home or anywhere else in the world. Like just a week ago, I was out in the Azores having the time of my life and each day, like every day I was out on vacation, I took profits. I was hardly watching the trade, but I was taking profits every day. And the profits were greater than the amount of money I was spending on vacation. And just knowing I can do that is amazing. I want to be able to be there for my family. I want to be able to be there for my friend. I don't want work to be an excuse. I don't want to, I, I don't want to be invited to a wedding. I don't want uh, my son or daughter to have some sort of sporting event or concert or something and me say oh no i'm sorry i have to work or anything like that i want to be able to i want to be able to say oh you know what i was going to do this work like with what i'm doing right now is i want to say oh i was going to do this or i was going to plan i planned on doing this i see spending time with the people i care about and i love as more important so i am going to take a day off from trading to do that. So that right there is my why and that is what drives me. But that right there is not enough. That is not why I keep trading. That right there in its essence is why I continue to hustle and try to drum up income that isn't solely reliant on a W-2 or someone else. When it comes to me still having my eyes set on trading, I'm going to be real. Sometimes I need to take a break. There have been times when I'm like, yo, I don't have a defined amount of time, but I feel like there have been times I've taken as much as six months off of trading because trading just left such a bad taste in my mouth. I'm like, yo, I need a break. Trading made me feel ways that I felt as negative. So in those times that I took the breaks, is I would take the time, work on myself, and make sure my mental is good. And over time, it, I have mentally reconstructed myself into someone that I would say, really, you can't shake me. You can't shake me mentally. I'm cold. I'm that dude, okay? Now, let me step back. I want to remain humble, but it's like I can watch a trade drop into the red as soon as I take it, and I can stick to my trading plan. If it hasn't hit my stop loss, I'm going to ride the trade through. But also, I don't even know what I was just saying, but usually when I take time off, I am working on myself. I'm trying to improve myself, mind, body, spirit. Mind-wise, I am reading. I am figuring out who it is I really find myself to be. Body-wise, exercise, very important to have some form of discipline, whether it's running, lifting weights, stretching. All of that is very important part of life. Spiritually, I'm, I'm trying to get closer to God and realize that this life that we live on this earth is temporary and find peace in the fact that not everything is going to go my way in this life, and it's, it's fine and remind myself that, yo, everything, every bad thing that has happened in my life, I have gone through, I have got through, and it's okay. That aside, working on myself and everything, I have also remained in some form of contact, maybe not like direct contact with people, but remain following, even if I'll like go periods without watching their videos. There are YouTubers that I'll watch. There are people I follow on social media. There are friends I have that trade. And it's okay, I'll see them winning. And it's, it's okay, they're winning consistently. They found a strategy. Sometimes it's, yo, let me pick up some books. Let me check out a course. Let me rethink, hey, what was going wrong in my trading? What was going right? Why did I stop? It's, did the market change? Which that is what happens a lot. Usually when I go from a streak of winning to a streak of losing, there has been a shift in the market. There's been a change in the timing of when they decide to move 
the stocks and all that stuff, that is something that truly sucks with options. They start making the movements after hours. Now I think about the stock market, I've gained understanding through all the education and the courses and the reading and stuff that I've taken. And I've gained the understanding of the way that it works and the way that they try to manipulate and shake you out of the contracts. And really it's like going to the casino. The odds are usually in the favor of the house. And you can greatly increase your odds if you know how it is that they try to screw you over. So through learning the ways that the market tries to screw me over, learning the tricks and stuff, I've been able to overcome the difficulties and really get on, find profitability, overcome a bad quarter. Like the first quarter starting this year, it was not a profitable quarter for me. Not too bad on the loss. I've already made back the losses from the first quarter this year. But this first quarter, is it started off good caught a lot of bad momentum and really sometimes you just need to take a little break whether it be a day a week whatever take some time break that momentum and once you feel like you've taken enough time look at what was going on and make adjustments in any sport any game of strategy anything like that there are opponents you have opponents and you're going to have to strategize they're going to do something that's going to work for them and the favor is going to be on their side. They're going to be likely to win unless you make the adjustment. To really wrap this video up and summarize how it is I continue going. First off, I'm motivated. I have my why. I have my things that I, I have my reasons that get me out of bed in the morning that keep me going. Next, after my why's, I try to take care of myself and whatnot. And then I also have, I have a circle. To be real, I don't know most of this circle personally. I'm also blessed to have the best discord if, if you're not a part of it and hey, be sure to sign up in the link down below in the description but i'm blessed with the best discord they're so encouraging uh, there are people just starting there are people that have been trading for quite some time and i find them to be really encouraging if i find myself down on myself they'll be like yo come on matthew you, you're better you're better than that or you can do it it's yo it's just part of the game they remind me I see people posting wins, and I'm like, yo, I can do it too. They're like, yo, I did this and it worked. I see people posting losses, and it's sometimes I laugh a little bit, but then I, I get humbled, and I'm like, yo, I've lost so much worse than that before, so, hey, I need to stop laughing. But then I keep laughing because I like laughing, so it is what it is. But anyways, it's, it's also important to have some form of community and just be vulnerable. And then along with the community and the vulnerability, you, know, you got to take care of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. Then last but certainly not least, strategy. Like you could do all those other things, but you have to actually know what's going on too. So educate yourself. And, and with that being said, if you haven't already seen the super secret options course, be sure to check out the pinned comment. I'll have that playlist link. Ultimately, when it comes to options trading, you're going to get what you put into it. So Make sure you take the time, uh, watch those videos, and truly understand everything that I'm saying. It's going to take some time to watch through the videos, but if you watch through the videos, and as you watch through the videos, you questions will pop in your head. And continue watching the videos because as you go down, the videos should answer the questions you're having. And then once you're done, hey, hop into Discord, ask all the questions you want. I'm in there answering questions and then we have a community of people that are extra helpful as well. So if you enjoyed this video, learned anything, found it helpful, be sure to smash the like button. And for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off. And I want to change your life.